going to watch this in slow motion after this, but I wanted to first react to it. I've had this saved up, have not reacted. Ooh. So basically, context, guys, it's two Wing Chun guys going at it, okay? One Wing Chun guy started with a roundhouse kick. So um, I'm going to make a wild guess. The guy who holds his hand like what you associate Wing Chun people, he's probably Ving Sung. And the other guy's probably Wen Chung, as they say. So there's different branches of Wing Chun, and they're all called Wing Chun, but obviously they're spelled differently, right? It's like the weirdest thing I learned about Wing Chun is that they spell the variations differently, and it shows their lineage. So, but in um, Mandarin, it's just Yong Chun. Anyways, so two Wing Chun schools. I'm guessing the red pants guy is Wang Chung. Uh, but you guys let me know if I'm right about that. Okay, all right. Um, white pants had a bit of trapping range stuff. Now it's on the ground and it is stopped. So no Wing Chun ground fighting. I don't know why they wore headgear. If Wing Chun's all about those light peppering shots, then hey, whatever. I'm not complaining. I'm just glad we have examples of this. Oh, what happened here? His gloves came apart? Look at that. He's got that kind of knee slightly inward type of stance, right? That structure, that frame. Oh, that was a great little... Okay, we'll definitely watch that part in slow motion again. So, ouch, I think we'll watch that in slow motion. He's definitely taken a few push kicks. So, not surprisingly, the guy that looks more dynamic, more like an MMA fighter, is the one doing better, right? I'm not saying the guy who looks more like a standard Wing Chun person's not having his moments, but... He just looks a little too stiff for this type of match, man. There it is. Okay, finally. Finally. Guys, who says chain punching doesn't work, man? There it is. There it is. Just as I was saying that he was having no advantage, he dialed it up, man. Wow. He's got like that Muay Thai mentality. Let me first... Test my own defense. Test his offense, right? Wow. Oh. Even though he received it on his forms, that hurts still. Oop. That guy came charging in off balance. So, I got a little bit of a stomach ache, guys. So, hopefully my commentary was okay. Let me watch this in slow motion. Here we go. Again, he started with a roundhouse kick, the red pants guy. And it got received by the forearms, right? And this is when the white pants guy goes in. Um, oh, okay, look at that. He is sometimes able to connect, you know, through these hook-like punches over the top. Okay. So, red pants definitely has the better kicks, right? I don't know if white pants kicked at all in this match. So, look at that. First push kick and then not the last push kick to land. There are some great angles that the Wing Chun guy, the um, white pants, found. So, but took a leg kick there. And, I mean, that was a little side kick. Dude. He did give his back a little bit too long, which the white pants almost took advantage of. So, it ended up in that kind of um, belly, not belly to belly, but chest to chest position, right? Which would usually go into wrestling, judo, throwing type of, or maybe even clinching. So, I do notice that the red pants does have his hands not always by his face, right? Which is fine. If his style has certain punches that have cool angles that come from more of an upward trajectory, then test it out in this environment. So... Look at that. That was a forearm frame right there. And here, I think this part is... Oh, 
he came up on top, dirty boxing range right there. And I think there was a throw here. Yep, this was the part where we saw the throw. So the riff called stop here. So here we go. And he's, look at that, he's trying to parry down the lead hand and then he followed up with a roundhouse kick from the other side. So that was a really good little kind of get his attention to think about other places. I want to get to the part where the other guy, the white, that was, see that? That was great. He kind of diverted his force. Because I was trying to say earlier, I want to see the part where the white pants finally dials it up, man. He really dials it up. If we were to judge it based on just now, I wouldn't have known that the white pants had like all this saved up in his gas tank. So, see, that that was a push kick. So, yeah, it's good we slowed down. He got push kicked again. And then a push kick again. Third or fourth push kick he got. So, I just noticed, too, that White Pants has much more of a reach advantage. Didn't notice that the first time. Yeah, White Pants has definitely not kicked once. And another roundhouse kick by Red Pants. His roundhouse kick is a little telegraphed. That was great little exchange in the dirty boxing range, which I'm not surprised that I think all the roundhouse kicked got partially blocked slash parried slash received by the forearms, right? There weren't any clean roundhouse kicks to the body that landed. He did land. Red Pants did land some. This is when... um. White Pants steps it up. What, Red Pants did land some leg kicks, though. This is... See that? This is when White Pants dials it up. Oh, that was his one attempt at a... At a kick, but... Red... His kick reached him first. There we go. This is when he connects. Look at that. See? This shows... Look at that. It's like the shortest distance, right? It's that Wing Chun punch... Wing Chun straight punch distance. So, gets a little wild, but hey, that was the white pants' moment right there. So, he really kind of did that, put his whole entire structure into a straight quick punch, right? That was too telegraphed. So, the red did not receive any of those punches. That was a good little knee plus a hook, left hook from kind of clinching trapping range. This is, see, way too telegraph. Although, he, I think he took it. I'm pretty sure he took it. Let's watch that again. I'm pretty sure he took this kick. Let's see, it's so telegraph, man. Like, you could see it from a mile away. I think it got him. It got him. It's because the Wing Chun guy's hands were all, he's got that wooden show, right? The Monsal doesn't do anything to protect against a right roundhouse kick to your face. And then I think, this is the last exchange. Yep, little flying knee, but he was off balance, and I guess he slipped. Slash, maybe there was some force to make him slip, but it wasn't like a KO or a TKO or anything like that. And I think that was it, guys. That was it. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I believe this is actually a viewer of mine who sent me this years ago. So, I apologize if it took that long. As you know, I have so much going on, and I have been dealing with a lot these past two years when it comes to just mind stuff, injury stuff, and then just really weird head tension slash vertigo. But anyways, if this was a viewer that sent this to me years ago, I finally got to you. Thank you. Please send me more. Anyone else too. If you guys got stuff, send it to me. If you can't reach me, maybe follow up on Facebook or something. I don't accept submissions on Instagram. So we have a Google form. Use the Google form. But if I haven't gotten to it, contact us on Facebook. Instagram is for other things. It's not to send me a million clips, please. So anyways, guys, thank you guys so much. And I will be filming with Coach Nicholas Sinyak by the time you guys see this. I just dropped my glasses. <laughs> so yeah, talk to you soon. A lot more with Coach Nicholas Sinyak too. All right, guys, talk to you soon.